Facebook is one of the most cost-effective ways of running ads. In the past year, you saw a couple of changes in ads manager. So this video, I'm going to show you new strategies that you can apply to your ads that are going to improve your ads. And with that, of course, you're going to make more money on Facebook through ads. Hi everyone, my name is Miriam. Welcome to my channel for weekly social media marketing and entrepreneurship tips, tricks, and tools. If you're new here, welcome and thank you for choosing to watch my video today. If you're a regular, thank you for choosing to watch yet another video. And I hope the new ones and the regulars have subscribed. The first tip is turn on detailed targeting expansion. That way, the system shows your ad to more people who might get you more and or cheaper results and that's what you want for your ads please note that facebook implements the expansion when they think that they can get you more people if they can't then they won't implement it even if it's on and i also want you to know that um the detailed targeting expansion only applies to the details targeting it doesn't apply to age um location gender meaning if let's say you've chosen your age bracket as maybe 24 to 34 then people who are not among that age group won't be able to see it same as gender if let's say you've chosen um maybe women only and in as much as facebook might think that men are also interested in it even if you've chosen the detailed targeting expansion it won't show to men so it only focuses on the detailed targeting the second tip is improve your landing page ads will bring you the clicks they will bring visitors to your landing page that's your website but it's your website that's responsible for the sales so if let's say your website is not user friendly at all if it's crowded if it's slow if it's taking actually forever to load in as much as the ads brought visitors there then people are not going to convert so you choose a conversion ad but then people are going to come to your website but then of course because the experience is not that pleasant they're not going to continue so probably they'll just go through for like two seconds and they'll be out because the user experience is not friendly so work on that ads are not responsible for their sales a hundred percent sometimes your ads will do so well they're going to bring all those clicks to your website but then because your website is not that good then you won't get the sales and i've actually seen that with some of my clients i'll give you an example so i was working with this client um and her landing page was not the best so she worked on it because she came to me and told me her ads are not doing well so we went through everything her ads were okay so i looked at her website her website was the issue so she changed her website believe me when i tell you that the next month her sales increased by 62 percent she didn't change anything else in her ads so her detail targeting was the same the age gender everything her demographics everything was the same but her website was the only thing that she changed and her sales increased by 62 percent so if you want your ads to do well if you want them to convert those clients for you then please also make sure that your website supports that the other thing is if your website is not user friendly that makes your ads way more expensive because if i see your ad today and you already know that that website is not user friendly what's going to happen is i won't click on that ad and many more people won't click on that ad and so if your ad is not getting clicks of course it's going to be more expensive so please change your landing page and you're going to see all the difference that it's going to make and your ads are going to do way better the third tip is retarget 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 i could sing a song retarget and i'm going to give you three reasons that should give you every single reason to retarget the first one is retargeting is known to bring one in four consumers back to complete a purchase one in four so if four people came to your website but didn't complete their purchase you retargeting guarantees you that at least one is going to complete the purchase and that's what you want for your business the second reason is retargeting ads have a click-through rate of 0.7 percent which is 10 times higher than a regular display ad 
The third reason is retargeting increases your brand awareness by keeping your business's name in front of your customers. So if you're saying in my closet, in my closet all the time, in my closet all the time, in as much as you're not going to buy boots from me and I'm asking you to buy boots from me, in, ca in case you're not going to buy boots from me today, at least you're aware that if I want boots, I'm going to go to my closet. So that's exactly why you should retarget. Um, a pro tip though, if you're retargeting, please make sure that the audience that you're retargeting to sees different um, ad creatives. So you can't choose the same ad creative um, for like an entire month. If you do that, your ad is going to become ineffective. So you want to change um, your ad creative. Speaking of ad creatives, the fourth point is use as many ad creatives as you can. So I'm talking about videos, um, images, carousels, use as many as you can. And the reason is different people respond to different things. So there are people who will see a video and they're going to watch the entire video ad. There are people who images speak more to them. There are people who will actually see a video and because it's a video they're going to scroll past it. And there are people who are known to scroll to the next slide, next slide, next slide. Even if you have 10, they're going to scroll through all of them. So what Facebook does is, if it knows that there are users that don't engage with videos, they would show them videos because they already know these people don't engage with videos. And if let's say 20% of your target audience does not engage with videos, what that basically means is if you run a video ad, then 20% of your target audience won't be shown this ad because the system already knows that these people don't engage with videos. So someone who doesn't engage with videos is maybe someone who won't even watch past maybe the three second mark. Those are people who don't engage with videos. So how you ensure that this doesn't happen to you is you create a campaign with different ad sets. So you don't have to change the audience. The audience can be the same. All you have to change is the ad creative. So one ad set can have an image, another ad set can have carousel, another ad set can have videos. That way at least you're safer and you're assured that your target audience is going to see that other than using videos and maybe 20% of your target audience won't be able to see the ad. The fifth tip is use stories placement. Let me tell you something, at the moment, stories are the cheapest placement on Facebook. And I'm not talking about Facebook again, I'm also talking about Facebook and Instagram. They're the cheapest. So can you imagine having the entire screen to your business and paying the least? Other than the feed where you have to share. So I'm not saying don't post on your feed as well, do that. But do not ignore stories. Please take advantage of the beauty that stories have. Of course, there's less traffic on stories compared to feed, but still, you have an entire screen and you're paying the least for that. You need to do that. And if you want your stories to do really well, then make sure that um, your ad design for the stories um, is a vertical design which is 9 to 16, and that's a recommended ratio by Facebook. The sixth and last tip or ad strategy that should apply this year is use automatic placements especially if you're new to art um, you don't know which placements are going to do well for your business and so if you decide to use manual placements from the onset you'll probably deny your business visibility to one placement that you have done so well but you haven't tried it out so you don't know so use automatic placement and then monitor your ad see so where is my ad doing really well is it maybe on facebook feed um is it on instagram stories whatever it is the only way you'll know that is by trying out so don't cancel all placement immediately as soon as you've started running ads no use different placements use automatic placements and then you'll be able to see which one does the best for your business those are the six tips that i have for you i hope that you're going to implement them and they're going to do well for your ads actually i'm 100 percent sure if you do that um your ads are going to do better this year than they did last year if you are new to running ads if you've never promoted anything on facebook i have a video on that and it's going to help you with that and it's somewhere here so yes please watch that video and i hope it's going to guide you um, I will leave you here. I will see you here next week. In the meantime, may all your dreams and goals come to pass. Thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Bye-bye.